everybody and welcome back to our channel we've just hiked out to this beautiful spot we've got a little cave here and a waterfall and I would like to set up a hammock here so we can spend the night luckily I've got my outdoor vitals hammock here I'm gonna set it up I'm gonna show you how it's done now I think this is the perfect spot I've got a little waterfall trickling down there I've got the ocean behind the camera and I think I'm gonna tie it from this tree to perhaps that tree over there. Outdoor Vitals have perfect instructions on their website on how to put their gear together. But one of their great tips is to look at the trees that you're going to tie it to and make sure you sort of pick a spot that's eye level to where you're standing. So I reckon it should be about there and about there. First we're going to start with the tree straps. We're going to put both our tree straps around the tree and this really helps to conserve and protect the tree. As much as we play our part in conserving the environment, you always get some somebody who just doesn't care, right? Okay. You can wrap this around twice, but for this particular width of tree, it's not going to it's not going to be possible. This one I think I'm going to be able to wrap it around twice. Yeah. And you just loop it right through. Next we've got two whoopee slings that we're going to use and we're going to attach it to our tree strap. And what you're going to do is you're going to find the small loop in your whoopee string. So we're going to take our small whoopee sling loop, we're going to put it through our tree strap, then we're going to thread the rest of the whoopee sling through that small loop. Next we've got our hammock carabiner and we're going to attach this to the big loop of our whoopee sling. Okay. So here is the big loop and we're going to make sure we attach it like this and make sure that it is not sitting on that wire over there. Whoopee sling makes use of a Chinese finger trap to tighten. Okay with our hammock up all that's left to do is ease into it and hope you don't flip right out. So take it easy. <laughs> As you sit inside it, you'll start to hear some creaking and that's just the straps tightening up onto the tree. But that's actually pretty good. It might be a little bit low, so I might lift it up a little higher. But, but that is super comfortable. Take off my dirty boots, it is wet around here. And that's the great thing about the hammock, is that you can get yourself off the dirty ground up in the trees there's actually nothing more relaxing than listening to the birds They're just swaying in the wind oh yeah so the hammock is made out of 40 denier nylon which means it's really really strong they also have used the triple stitch they haven't skimped on the materials these Dyneema whoopee slings are incredible quality and ultra ultra strong now a lot of backpackers and hikers are opting for a hammock instead of a tent and you can understand why it is super light for me it feels like you're really drawn into nature you know you, there's a better connectivity to nature it's very relaxing obviously it is a little bit weather dependent but go check out outdoor vitals they have a range of products on their website and they cater for the ultra light out door enthusiast now i love outdoor vitals because they also give back they give one percent of everything they get in to a disadvantaged community and i think that's pretty great i'm hearing some sort of a wild animal up here i might need to check that out guys until the next video hey go check out one of these outdoor vital products yeah i love reviewing this stuff because it's such superior quality until the next video